When you create your Gmail account, this is the basic interface that you would see. Your messages would come in here and you can set up the way that this looks. Mine is set that I put all the unread messages first and everything else comes after. And that's done in this settings um, section here with this gear and I have the unread first. So you can play around with this and set it up as however you want it to look, but this is how you would customize. You can put a theme on, you know, I'm not really gonna worry about that with you. That's something that you can do. Um, okay, so now, um, basically you would always focus, or for me, you would focus on the inbox. Um, and these guys I created, they're called, um, labels and you can actually take emails and put them into labels they act like folders so you can organize your email if you want to save them um, if you look down the bottom here this is the your, your labels always show up here Cate categories are what are provided by um, gmail i don't really use these it tends to want to put stuff into these for you if it's a social media or some type of thing or a promotion i don't really worry about that i create my own labels and, and uh, use them and down the bottom here there's just more stuff that you can get um, you can manage your labels you can get rid of them this is where you would create a new label you can actually do a chat you know it's there's a lot a lot of things you can do but that's something that you would have to play around with okay now, to get to different things, we're going to use the suite of Google things that come with the Gmail account. And to get to different things on your drive, you would go up to this matrix here, this 3x3, three three, click it, and it's all the apps. Now, we're not even going to touch all of the apps, but you can see there, there's a lot of them. We're going to get to different spaces, but the first thing is... Um, Google Drive, that's where we're going to use uh, Google Docs and some of the other applications. So you would get here. So if we look through this quickly, um, you can get the news. We're going to do Google Meets at a later class, a Google Drive, and then if I can find it, um, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Jamboard. Um, we're going to use not Google Hangouts is the older version. It's Google Meet now is where we would do it online. And now the problem is we're going to use Google Sites, but they didn't put it here. So in, browse all products. So this is where it's all the applications. We're going to use Google Classroom. Uh, let's get down to the S's, Google Sites, Slides. Google Sites, which will, so essentially, if we go back, get out of here. This is a shortcut to all the apps, but all the apps aren't included in this. So you have to go to, if you don't see something here that you want, we're actually going to use Google Forms also. You would go more from Google to get all the applications. So you go more from Google, browse all products, and then everything that's possible, and then you find the app that you would want there. So essentially, this is the basic uh, Google desktop, if this is the first time you're using Google, and you know your emails come in here, you can customize your situation here with these different settings, different views, if you want to just leave it basic, you can do that. Um, this gets you all the apps. Um, this is where you would sign out. Now, if we look here, this is where you can split the screen to different things. You can experiment with that. And this is where um, you can change languages. Um, this is your undo button. This is where you can select different things. Now, you notice there's this word starred. If you look here, you can star an email. What that does is it just points it out that it's important to you, but they also have this other thing 
that um, it says it's important. But what the star does, it's more for you. The important thing actually did the Gmail would know that the thing is important. So if you try to delete it, it might say to you, oh, you want to delete it? It's an important email. So you can create a lot of little things for yourself that you can do. There's two other things I want to mention. There's a trash can. Once you delete an email, it goes to the trash, but it sits in there for, I believe, 30 to 60 days. So it's probably good once in a while to delete your trash. I mean, I work with people that have never deleted an email in their life, but I like to keep it clean because if you have a ton of emails sometimes, it takes a while to load the um, mail interface and especially on a smartphone so if you keep it clean save the important ones in in these folders and get rid of the unimportant ones and then spam once in a while if someone sends you an email and it's out comes from an email package outside of Google um, it'll put it in your spam folder so if someone sent you something and you didn't get it it might be in the spam folder so it's a good idea to check in there and delete the spam periodically as well. So, you know, there's a lot of help that I'm including you to go to and look, but this is just a quick overview of the basic Gmail email desktop and how you would use it to get places, specifically some of the apps we're going to use.